In Greek lore, Apollo has a priestess named Cassandra, and she is basically cursed to have these prophecies that no one believes. They call her stark raving mad, she's a lunatic, and no matter how many times she's accurate in her prophecies, they still don't believe her. Not only is Cassandra my fake name that I tell people, if need be, or really even if not, Cassie for short, I tell people, um, it's also how I regularly feel, whether I'm talking about health matters, social matters, anything like that, I tend to tell people exactly what's going to happen, it comes to be, and yet they still don't really listen to me next time. But hopefully, if you're hanging out with me, you might listen. This coat is a perfect example where I told someone, don't get this terribly cheap coat. It's not going to end up being good quality. It's not a real material. And if you're getting it from so far overseas at that price, it's definitely not going to be something that is as exciting as you think the picture looks online. So the stitching's all really weird. The color came out extraordinarily orange. All buttons are fake. So we're just gonna dye it today, which is going to be an unnatural dye. It's probably gonna smell really bad and just, it's just like problems to fix problems, but we're gonna see how this goes and hope that this ends up being a very cute coat by the end of it. So first we're, oh, breathing, huh? First we're getting it all wet in order to make sure that we get anything off of it for the dye to stick better. We're doing it in a black sink instead of white tub because we're gonna do it a dark color. Now we have soap and salt in here with the hot water. The window's open for proper ventilation. There you go. Oh yeah, okay, so all right. So it's already starting to blacken a little bit anywhere that it's touched. And here it goes into its pool of blackness. I've never dyed anything before, so this is really cool for me to watch. Like I've never even tie dyed anything. The person that I'm doing with uh, this with has dyed things, but it's been a very long time. So we're submerging it completely. The dye kit is more for like long sleeve shirts at best. So we're gonna see how it goes for a full trench coat. The trench coat was $25 and this kit was about $12. And we're gonna see how black we can get it. So it's supposed to stay in for about 30 minutes. I suggested that we maybe leave it a little bit longer since it's so big. But um, then I also suggested that maybe the material is so terrible that it'll just melt if we leave it longer. <laughs> We've decided that whether or not it gets dyed again, we'll be happy if it just ends up brown instead of that weird orange. Keep stirring it though. So, <laughs> so you're supposed to keep stirring it and we were using like this big metal spoon, but it just wouldn't stay down in the water and they didn't want to keep their hands even in the gloves in the super hot water. But um, instead of using their hands to hold the jacket submerged, we've used this impervious glass Tupperware, which if you have plastic Tupperware, please don't. Um, the glassware, you can always get secondhand. You can do whatever kind of you want with it because you'll always be able to clean it immaculately on the other side. And uh, yeah, I was saying how this is kind of like that scene in SLC Punk where he's shouting at the car that they have just stolen in the giant salt lake sink you fool because they it just it won't it's too buoyant it's too much salt in the lake so if you're having that issue just find something to hold it down if you're not averse to chemical dyes i've been told rit has been one of the longest standing most popular brands i will say i was worried that this was going to be kind of like a hair dye smell and let's ignore the fact that i just said that i'm right about everything and i will correct myself that this really doesn't smell bad at all all right we're stirring it around it's getting blacker well, kind of, I don't know. It's getting a different color, definitely. I can't tell if it's the material in the hot water that smells like that or if it's the dye, but there is some kind of smell. I've read the body releases a static electric charge and when combined with things like a natural fibers like polyester, this can make a person more electric because natural fibers like cotton can be more hygroscopic or water attractive. And so if you find that you have a lot of static cling um, from having dry skin in combination with unnatural materials and a very dry climate, like I live somewhere that is in a drought almost all of the time, um, this can really get frustrating to have your hair splaying. And um, so yeah, if you have that experience, 
You can try more natural materials, moisturizing your skin with some kind of organic oil. Try not to strip your hair of its natural oils as much because um, this will, again, make it... Stop shaking your head. <laughs> try not to strip your hair of its natural oils with harsh detergents because that will also make it drier. And so, yeah, I felt the need to mention that because it does come up in the area that I'm at. So if you're getting shocked a lot, that's a good prevention. No fingers. No fingers. Mm, that, was, that was very good no fingering. Okay. <laughs> Adding the color safe ingredient. I frequently get tactile sensations in my dreams. I was just thinking about a dream that I had last night. But did you know that people perceive colors differently based on the number of cone cells in their eyes? So if this jacket doesn't look black to you, it's either because it's not or because you're perceiving it differently. Perhaps it is a more brownish color, but it's certainly not orange anymore. I think we could all agree on that. We played a game called button button you've got the button and pointed out that there were just so many weird random buttons on here that we had to take them off and make it a little bit more normal these were completely diy stitched uh buttonholes and they came out really nicely they were very evenly spaced and so now it is adjustable between buttoning it there or on these two over here and the ones that looked like they were just thrown at the coat have been removed for use on a later project if so chosen. I think it looks incredibly presentable now and will be a lightweight, very nice coat to wear. This trench coat has false pockets, which is also a problem with getting cheaper uh, materials. So just think about maybe how much effort you would like to put into a coat if you feel like DIYing it or having something that's a little bit cheaper. I think you could just as well get something secondhand, but if you feel like getting a project, I mean, do still try to go for a slightly more natural materials. This ended up all right. You want to salvage things instead of just tossing them out if you do make a mistake. Um, but yeah, I, th I think that this really pulled itself around. Comment, like, and subscribe for more healthy and alternative content. I'm glad that I got to try a new project. It was definitely really fun messing with this.